you a neurodivergent woman, particularly maybe with ADHD, and you feel like you've just never been heard? I was doing some reflecting this morning and something came to me. I realized that in my attempt to get things out and always make sure that I could speak and, you know, the, the whole blurting and it's hard to wait because otherwise you'll forget that what often happened is I would speak without really reflecting and deeply thinking. And so the things I was sharing weren't really, you know, as insightful as the things that I come up with after I have some time to reflect. And so then a lot of times people wouldn't find value in what I was saying because it's like, oh, well, you know, that's just what Jen says, right? And they can be dismissive. And I, I think I'm not alone. I think a lot of us with ADHD experience this. Something that I've noticed is throughout my life, I've often really admired people who can, you know, those people who are like quiet and they observe and they listen and they don't jump in right away. And then when they say something, it's like, bam, right? And you're like, wow, that was so profound. And I've often thought like, I have profound thoughts sometimes. Why can't I do that? And I'm pretty sure it's my ADHD because I'm like, oh, I got to talk. I got to talk. I got to get it out or I'll forget. And in doing so, I think we, we end up doing ourselves a disservice. We end up not feeling heard because the things we're sharing aren't those things that are near and dear to our heart. They're just the things that are coming out of us right away that we want to share before we forget, right? Instead of taking that time to reflect. So I'm not sure I have the answers yet on how to do that. I mean, you know, I'm thinking my yoga and meditation practices over the years have helped that. So stay tuned as I figure this out myself.